afternoon, chaps. <laughs> Couldn't remember if it was morning or afternoon. Um, it is Friday, the 6th of July. Uh, yes, 12, no, uh, 12, 9. Nine minutes past 12 uh, in the afternoon. I've been back from sports day for about 10 minutes. It was supposed to finish at 11, and it was to quarter to 12 before we got out. They did, I think they did one too many races, to be honest. Um, Anyway, I was very fortunate enough, um, or very fortunate, to get under a tree um, for this morning. It was so hot. We sat in the sun for about five minutes and the friends I was sitting with, um, two of them had got babies. And um, one of the girls' husbands went and said, can we, are we okay to sit near the finish line under the tree because the, the babies are, just can't settle. Um, and they said, yeah, so we all went and sat under the tree, so I crocheted, sitting under a, a gorgeous willow tree. It was great. Um, Jack had fun. I think he tottered home towards the back of the pack in every race. I don't particularly think he's that forced. He did say after the second race, he was sad he didn't get a medal. But I said, are you still having a good time? He said, yes. So, um, that was all good. I'm not going to be there for the start of Tobin's. Uh, sports day but I, I probably won't go down too late um, it's supposed to start at half one and I can go at quarter past two to set up my table so um, I'll probably go down a, you know, a little bit early watch some of his sports day and then go and start setting up my table um, but yeah Tobin is not into sports day at all doesn't like it I said to him, we can go and practice if you want to get better at running. And he went, nah. So I'm like, well, there you go then. I'm going to run through everything I've got for the craft fair. And I may get this uploaded. I'll take pictures at the, of my table when it's done. However, I've got to be careful because there's kids there and stuff like that. So I'll probably take a picture when I first set it up. Um, and I'll probably tack it on to tomorrow's video. I have got a cup of tea. It's the heat hits you as soon as we came out from under the tree. The heat was like, Phew. but I'm I'm in the the dining room, so it's quite cool in here. And I thought, yes, I want a tea. I went a rather long time between cups of tea from yesterday to this morning. I'm <laughs> like, tea, please. Last night was horrible. It's the worst night we've had so far. Um, I went to the toilet at three o'clock this morning, and because all our windows were open, the door slammed. Our bedroom door slammed and it woke Tobin up and then Tobin came in crying because he couldn't get back to sleep. Then I couldn't get back to sleep, Paul didn't sleep. I ended up down here on the sofa uh, watching videos at quarter to five in the morning. Or, or until, sorry my hair's gone a bit crazy, until quarter to five this morning. Then I shut the laptop and just tried to get back to sleep. It's cooler downstairs. Yeah, Paul doesn't feel great today because he's been up. I laughed, Tobin was not happy this morning, bless him. I just hope it, it's not due to, to go away anytime soon either for the next week. Tomorrow they're saying, tomorrow and Sunday actually, they're saying 30 degrees. We can't, we're not built for that. <laughs> um, and work are doing the X runner, like obstacle course. It's supposed to be muddy. Where are they going to get mud from? They're going to have to like hose down the track to make it muddy. Um, but then of course everyone wants to leave as soon as it's over, because they were planning to stay for a picnic, but now England are playing on Saturday, playing tomorrow. They all want to leave early so they can get cleaned up and go to their venue of choice to watch it. Most of them is the pub. Anyway, waffling. Okay, sorry, you can see my, this is my um, mug tree that I take as a display for queuing and stuff. I'll leave that one propped up there looking at you. <laughs> Is he judging you? Pop him there. So I will run through what I've got. Sorry, I should swap this chair out. It's the creakiest chair out of the four we've got, and I always end up sitting on it to do videos. So I've got the cute sleepy koala. I need to do price list actually. That was going to happen last night. Uh, I've got the fluffy bunnies. So I've got three, four. Five. Sorry, that sounded loud, didn't it? Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So cute. 
Uh, what else? My Frankensteins. I've got uh, three of those all together. So cute. Look at that little stack of Frankies. Love them. Checking the one in the back. Uh, my Hello Kitty um, Winnie the Pooh. And I was looking at him this morning and then realised... Sorry, my phone has just gone off. That um, I hadn't got whiskers on the piglet or the Rillacuma. So I did that this morning. So they've all got their whiskers now. So I've got the three of those. Rillacuma's ears. Stuck back. Oh, they're just so short. So there's those. Where next? Uh, my mini dinosaurs. So there's one, two, three. Whoops. Four. Blooming chair. Um, they're all falling off the table. I was unpacking them and it took so long to get everything out of the bag, my camera turned itself off. In protest. Oh, you're not going to use me that, turn yourself off. <laughs> everything, I, all my inanimate objects give me sass. <laughs> Thanks to my brain. So there's the five uh, burger key rings I made. The one with, oops, lettuce. Stop messaging me, that's my sister. Um, and then I've got the five Builder Burger sets. I didn't get around to making any, um, whoops, I'm attached, any onion or anything to go with them. So it's got the bottom of the bun, burger, cheese, tomato, lettuce, top of the bun. They're cute. Still figuring out pricing on everything. Uh, Stitch and um, Baymax ice creams. My two Pokeballs I've got left. My little bob -omb. my only bob -omb. Uh The Winnie the Pooh plush. Um, it's not, a, some people call them zum zums. Some patterns list them as zum zums. Um, so that's him. I only got one of him. And my teddy bears. I've got nine of these. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah. got nine all together. Adorable. Uh, the unicorn that I found um, in the drawer under my bed the other day. Put a hair on it, there you go. So just one of those. I think I was a bit unsure of the neck on this, because it just twists, it always seems to be looking off skew with. Um, my flip-flops, uh, these will probably get hung on the, um, on my mug tree. My poor mugs are all abandoned in the kitchen. So I've got the mustard and blue one, the um, my burgundy and cream, my sister really likes that one. The multicoloured, the really multicoloured that Devin doesn't like. Pink and grey. Oops, lost key. Red and yellow and oh the blue and pink and there's another one here. They're everywhere. Everywhere. And the green and purple. And then of course this one. So uh eleven of them all together. Um this octopus. Let's take them so this is the only one I made with the swirly spiraled legs, sorry, swirly. Um got little headphones on and then I've made uh, four of these all together, the little flapjack ones. Oh, I've got headphones on. This one turned out quite a bit bigger. So this is using the lollies yarn, which is more of a worsted weight. So four of those. Uh, the narwhal. This is just this smile makes me just oh, it's so adorable. So there's that dude, and then I finished this chap last night. That's sparkly horn, little smile, heart-shaped tail, so cute. It's got a heart on its butt. And then my little eyeballs. So these are the ones. I put some after sun on, and the smell's quite distracting in not a pleasant way. So there's the pink one I've done, and then these are all new. I did that one last night. 
And then I did this one this morning, so I need to put a mouth on it, like a dusty rose uh, sort of colour. And then my phone, honestly, leave me alone. <laughs> You're like, just, just do it. And then I did these two at the sports day. See? Productive. Um, so I need to put mouths on them. So I've got a red eye and brown. <laughs> I was like, eh? that just looks bad. So a brown eye on that one and blue eye on that one. So put little smiles on those. I'm thinking, I know it's a dangerous thing, of putting these. Throwing them here and I need them. I've got a wally. Excuse me, sorry. Leaning out of shot. Putting them in my little jar. So I'll be selling like a jar of ice. Quite like that. I think they fit, they work quite well in there. So I might take that with me. I've just got to carry it and make sure I don't smash it. Uh, I'm hoping to just get everything I need in this bag and take it round there. I think I'm going to perhaps try taking my hexagon. Um, Rainbow hexagon blanket with me. I normally take Jack's diamond diamond stitch blanket, um, but I'll have a quick test of laying it out, perhaps in the front room, and see if the back the the blanket is like a distraction colour wise because Jack's is quite uh, pale and not too bad. The other ones obviously is quite colourful, and I don't want the stuff to get lost on the you know on the blanket. So we'll see. I'll have a play around. So I need to do my price list, sort my order form, get my money in my tin, um, get the blanket sorted, get lots of water with me to take, um, because I will be in the sunshine for this. <laughs> Excuse me, can you put me under that tree? But obviously I don't think I get much, much foot traffic right at the other end of the... <laughs> Where's your store? Oh, I'm under the tree at the bottom of the field, because I don't like sun. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, I think that's it really. So I uh, thank you everyone for the uh, the you know the good luck and everything you're sending to me. It's very kind of you. I am very surprised how I you know at the spot I got this morning. I really thought it was going to be hell sat watching them, watching the kids in the heat. But we were very lucky. So they're hoping to be there. They've got to watch go this afternoon as well because they've got kids in in both groups so they're going for a carvery now and then they're going straight back because you know, they've got to be back for half past one so she's going to try and bag the same seat so if I do go over and see her I can stay in the shade I'm not bothered about sitting down that's not it's not a problem but um, yeah just being in the shade is quite nice yes it's been a good morning um, gonna go and I don't know watch some videos there's lots of videos to watch but I wasn't quite compass enough at four o'clock this morning to put any of those on so don't put anything on you need to you know or you want to concentrate for like terry's got a video out. hi terry and who else laura um corner of knitting tea she's got a video out someone else has as well there's lots to watch and i was like no because you won't remember any of it you won't fall asleep yes so here's to a better night's sleep tonight and here's to hopefully selling all my stuff later that'd be good um, I hope you're having a good Friday, not a good Friday, a good Friday, um, I hope you're keeping cool if it's hot and warm if it's cold, if it's cold where you are, I really am for you, <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be a whole other week of this, I've got a skirt on today, it's a, it's a floor length skirt, but I was like, I just can't wear trousers today, it's just not going to happen, and I mean, my shirt, I had to iron this this morning because I'd already worn this for work one day this week and I obviously washed it and it was in the pile to be ironed and I had to put the iron on to iron it, I was like, <laughs> even ironing one top, I was like, no, no, it's too hard. Uh, yeah, I like this, t This it's not really a t-shirt because I think it's linen. You won't tell me. <laughs> Where's the tag? I don't think there is one. Sometimes they cut them out when I get them from Paul's place. They they take the labels out when it's a, a sale item because they don't want to cheapen the brand, which I suppose is understandable. No, I don't know what it is, but I think it feels like linen or or very light cotton or something. So um, 
keeps my arms covered, my shoulders covered, uh, not too much of my neck. I don't think I look too red. Well, or maybe I do. <laughs> but that's, yeah, keeps me, my, my precious pasty skin covered up, which is always good. I'm waffling. So I'm going to go and get some stuff done because I've just sat here saying, I need to do this. And I've not, yeah. I'm not going to get it done, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to wash this after sun off because it smells a bit like a pub. Not in a nice way, like a... What the hell is it? I don't know, it smells like a bit like stale beer or something. So I'm going to go wash that. <laughs> what did you do in between? Oh, apparently went and had a lot of beer. Have a, uh, a good weekend. I hope you've got something nice planned. Uh, if you support the football... I hope it goes your way. I don't particularly follow it, so I don't really have a... Anyway. <laughs> Take care. Um, Ruthie. Um, yeah, stay well, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.